Excellent. Good evening. Uh, we've got a special test for you today. Off to go. So I did an update on my OnePlus One, and magically, when I read the change log, I saw that they'd added raw support for the camera. And this only works with the OnePlus One camera app that comes with the OnePlus One here. This is the OnePlus One in my hand. Um, and uh, what we're going to do right now, we're just going to go test it, so you guys can see how awesome it is uh, with raw. So let's do that right now. We're going to go to the park. If you're someone who has no idea what RAW means, well, what makes it special is normally with a JPEG, it captures all the information, it becomes a one or a zero, uh, and then it just tells the camera that this pixel is this color and this pixel is that color. Whereas with RAW, it captures the RAW color data from the entire scene, and you have a lot of options in post-production. So what we're gonna do with this camera, um, it, it already looks better than just about anything else I've seen in my entire life in the whole history of the world, but we wanna see how it handles contrast, like shooting up in a bright sky, shooting in some shadowy areas, and we wanna see how much we can play with that in post. What's beautiful uh, as well about this is in post you can also mess with the white balance. So normally with like a JPEG, you set the white balance to be you know like tungsten, uh, you know make it make it warm or cold. I guess is the easy way to say it, blue or orange. Uh, but with this one, you take the picture and then you can go into post and choose where you want your white balance. So you really have um, just a lot of granularity that you normally do not have with a JPEG. All right, so now I'm going to throw it to Albert and let him play around with these in post. All right, so just like Logan mentioned, a raw image, unlike a JPEG doesn't apply any type of processing to the image. It just gets the raw information off the sensor. It doesn't apply any type of white balance. It doesn't apply saturation or contrast settings. It doesn't apply sharpness. It just basically gives you everything. Uh, now that said, it's gonna obviously give you a huge file compared to a JPEG, but because you have all that information, you can adjust it in post. So if you made a mistake and you overexposed, you can bring it back down and you know trim down those highlights. If you did it too dark, you can bring the shadows up or you can bring the whole exposure up and make it bright enough so it's the right exposure. Now, the OnePlus One gives you a .dng, which is like the open source version of a RAW file, like uh, Nikon uses NEF and Canon uses their own proprietary format. Uh, the OnePlus One gives you a .dng, which is awesome because it means it works with basically every software out there, Lightroom, Photoshop, GIMP, it doesn't really matter. It's gonna work and it's gonna be able to import. So. What we're gonna do in here is we're gonna go import all these DNGs. At the same time, we're also gonna import the JPEGs. And as I'm editing them, I'm gonna show you uh, the difference between the edited and the unedited version. And I'm also gonna show you a little bit about what a JPEG looks like or what happens to a JPEG when you try to edit it extremely, especially in terms of white balance or exposure. So here are the files that we imported today, which the DNGs are somewhere in the 16 to 17 megabyte per image range, where the JPEGs were between 1.5 and 3.5 megabytes, depending on how much data is in the image. Um, but you can see here, we went to the park, took some shots. I'm gonna go ahead and import them into Lightroom. And now that they're in here, I'm gonna go ahead and pick one. So let's pick this guy. First thing you'll notice, wow, these are super sharp. I'm pretty blown away at how good they look. This is a cell phone, unbelievable. Now you can tell this image is a little bit warm, right? So over here, see, 8400, I can actually bring it back down and make it a little bluer. And that's what it actually looked like where we were. If I had gone a little over in the exposure, I can bring it back down, I can bring it back up, I can add contrast, I can make it a little more green. You know, you can do all this kind of stuff. If you want to see the shadow in this area, I could bring up the shadows and you see it. You can bring down the blacks, whatever you want. It's all doable. So here's a really good example. This one's really extreme. It's totally overexposed, as you can see, especially over here. It's too blue. It's just a big old mess. So watch this. I'm gonna bring this back down and look at all this information come back. So now our histogram is more about what it should be like kind of in the middle. Um, it's definitely too blue. We're gonna go ahead and change the white balance over. Look at that, what a huge difference. We're gonna add a little bit of contrast. We're gonna bring up the shadow so you can see the detail in her coat, but then we're gonna bring down the blacks so that it doesn't affect it too much. That'll give a lot of detail. And now it's like so over vibrant. We're gonna bring down the vibrance, bring down the saturation just a tad. And then uh, we could probably just come in here real quick and put a little bit more sharpening and put a little bit more vignette. I mean, that just came a long way. So before, after, before, after. That's, that's unreal how much information you can recover from a cell phone. Another example, pull the white balance off the shoot, which you know is actually white, changes it, add some contrast, add some sharpening, and maybe bring it down just a tad and a little bit warmer. 
See, that wouldn't happen normally. If you were to adjust that in a JPEG, it would look really, really bad. And uh, you'd start to get artifacts, you'd start to see a degradation in your image quality, and your photo would look like garbage. But with RAW, you can change all those things in post and you won't have any problems with your file it'll still look great so really impressive stuff one plus one i gotta say uh, i'm pretty stoked about this this is pretty awesome and it's something that if you don't mind the bigger file sizes and you have the extra time to do this you don't want to share it like immediately on the internet you have time to go home and post process the image this is really the way to go a pretty rad job bringing raw support to a cell phone that's a uh, pretty awesome but we still are kind of messing around with the cell phone. Stay tuned because now that I'm here, we're gonna be uh, kicking it up a notch. We're gonna be reviewing some much cooler items such as this Metabones Speed Booster. If you don't know what this is, there's like black magic voodoo happening in here. It does stuff that uh, you think would break the laws of physics almost, but it doesn't. And I'm gonna show you how it works uh, coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. If you like video, if you like photos, we're gonna be doing a lot more. Uh, we're gonna be kind of getting out and about. We're gonna get out of this room. We're gonna go have fun and adventures and we're gonna show it to you in 4K. It's all gonna look beautiful. We're gonna teach you a little bit. We're gonna review some products. And uh, so yeah, stay tuned, like and subscribe. And in the meantime, take a look at the photos we shot with the OnePlus One in RAW.